Oh boy guys, the ban list just came out today. Let's go check it out. I've already got my computer booted up. I'm on the ban list site now. Let's see. Let's see. It's effective today. Cool. Hmm. Well, it looks like the list is wrong because Stratos is still banned! Why are you still banned? You're not that bannable! I miss Stratos. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hudson Man 2 here, and today it's the best season in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the special time of year we all look forward to, where we buy, where we try not to buy anything to make sure we don't waste our money. It's that special time. It's ban list season. And I've got my two buddies, Ricky and Brian, here. We're going to talk about some ban lists. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, what up? So yeah, um, we were not, none of us were expecting this list to come out when it did. Nope. Not in the least. No. Like, like, this list literally came out of nowhere for us. Exactly. We weren't, ex <laughs> we weren't expecting nope. this list. We give you that much. But, it's a great list. And I, being a slight competitive player, I'm going to be here representing more of the competitive side. And my two buddies are going to be uh, helping with the casual side as well. Exactly. But I, but I think before we go any further, uh, Brian informed me that we have a special guest on the way. Yeah, I'll do this. And I think he's just right here. But let me just do one other thing because my mouth's getting kind of dry. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, hey Maxi. Hey, man. All right. We got a ban list to talk about. Oh, boy. Yep. All right. Oh, they botch it. They did pretty good, oh, actually. They, they actually didn't... did the right thing this time. They actually made some good, honest decisions. So, and as uh, the viewers can see, I do have the ban list up on screen currently. So... We're going to start with the first card on the list, which is Dino Might Knight, the true Draco fighter. One of the true Draco monsters, surprisingly. Not the one we were hoping. Everybody was hoping Masterpiece would get hit. No, but they, nope, they chose him instead. Don't know why. Yeah, yeah. All right, I am unfamiliar with this dude. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Dino... Let's see. Dynamite. Dynamite Knight. Here we go. Alright, the effect of Dynamite Knight is. Once I pull him up, come here, friend. To tribute some of this card face up, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap you control instead of a monster. Once per turn, during either player's turn, if your opponent activates a card effect while you control this tribute summon monster, you can take one true Draco or true King continuous trap from your deck and either activate it or add it to your hand. So basically, it gives you an answer to stuff. Woohoo! Okay then, yeah! Interesting. Very but. interesting indeed. But. Yeah. As our friend Brian and Maxi are not acquainted, this is the effect of Masterpiece, the true Draco Slain King. To tribute summon this state card face up, you can tribute one, you can contribute, uh, you can tribute continuous spell slash traps you control as well as monsters. Unaffected by card, by the effects of cards with the same card type, monster, spell, or trap, 
as the original card type tributed for basically when you tribute summon him mm -hmm. using monster spells or traps if you use one of each he is unaffected by all types of cards ah now his what? last bit of ability once per turn during either player's turn if you control this tribute summon monster you can banish one continuous spell or trap card from your graveyard then target one other card on the field destroy it wow that is Masterpiece, the True Draco Slain King, who is a level 8, so two cards, and he's 2950, 2950. And his attribute? Light Worm. Interesting. But basically, Dino... Uh, Dynamite is still a good card, but everybody was hoping Masterpiece would help cripple the deck. Well, as I like to put it, so much for hope. Yep. So, anybody else got anything fun on him? Nope. Not in the least. Maxi, you got anything? Zip. Alright, next we have Grand Soil, the Elemental Lord. The reason this card was hit, because of its ridiculous and stupid loops with Firewall Dragon. That does not surprise me. Anybody else? Unfamiliar with this. Ah. Basically this card's pretty dumb. That pretty that basically sums that up in a nutshell. Okay then. Uh would you like me to read the effect? Eh, yeah, I'll look them up later. All right, next, we have, we're going down the list a bit, we have True King, Lithosa Gem, The Disaster. The reason this card was hit, because Dinos, I believe, topped Worlds or won Worlds. All right. And, Interesting. And the reason is, because this particular card, what he does, he, uh, to spe you can special summon him, by banishing or by destroying two cards from your hand. Wow. Interesting. And in addition, uh, if I remember correctly, when he is summoned, mm -hmm. he allows you to banish three extra deck monsters from your opponent's extra deck. What? Yeah, here it is. If, if this card is in your hand, you can destroy two other monsters in your hand or face up on the field including an earth monster if you do special summon this card and if you do that both destroy monster and if you do that and both destroy monsters were earth you can also look at your opponent's extra deck banish up to three monsters from it with different names if this card is destroyed by by card effect you can special summon one non-earth worm type monster from your graveyard you can all use each effect of true king lithosa gem the disaster once per turn Wow. Okay. What in the world? Most people are going to get rid of uh, Pterodon, which is the new baby dinosaur from the structure deck, as well as okay. baby Sarasaurus to get all the effects. Since they, mm -hmm. since they both activate when they're destroyed, and right. True King with Slosha Gem destroys a card. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I can actually see that happening. It's a very broken yeah, card. Yeah, that is just overpowered so, to the max. So, anybody else got anything on Lothosa Jim? I think the card speaks for itself. You don't hear us arguing, do you? So, <laughs> next card is uh, uh, Den Long, first of the Yang Zing. I'm actually very familiar with the Yang Zing archetype. It's it's a very sad day for Yang Zings for them to lose one of their best, strongest boss monsters. But Din Long was a dumb card in several decks. Peop <laughs> it was it was just <laughs> stupid. <coughs> like for example, you'd be you'd special him because he's generic, and you'd uh, use him to get. Nine pillars of the Yang Zing, and then just go off. Okay. Yep. Yep. Go Kendrick, nuts. 
Yep, True Draco's abused him. Mm-hmm. Now, anybody else got anything special? Uh-uh. Nope. All right, the next card is a very sad day for people like me, but also not, considering I needed this for a deck I was going to build. Digusto Emerald. Yeah, it is a sad day, but, um... He's too good. Exactly. Brian, are you familiar with the effect of Digusto Emerald? I looked it up once, but um, I might need a refresher. Alrighty, I got you. Digusto Emerald. Digusto Emerald. Rank 4. Generic. Once per turn, you can detach one material, activate one of these effects. Target three monsters in your graveyard, shuffle all three into the deck, draw one card. Target one non-effect monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. Wow. Basically, the stupid thing with uh, Emerald was Zoo. Mm. Summon him, use the effect of Zoo, to, or use his effect, shuffle your Zoo cards back into your deck slash extra deck. Mm -hmm. And then draw, a, get a free card. Okay, uh, then. And he's a good and, generic rank 4 for decks that need that extra recycling power. Or, in my words, that extra oomph. Yes. Took the words right out of my mouth, word for word. Now, these next, anybody else got anything about Emrael? Uh-uh. Not really. I think you pretty much covered the basics. One last oh, thing. Yeah. Rest in peace, Emrael. You will be missed. You will be missed, and you are one of the best cards this game ever had. Now, I'm going to talk about these two cards together, because they go together. Take it away. Zodiac Broadbull and Zodiac Dryden. Otherwise known, otherwise, otherwise known, in my opinion, as the Doom and Gloom combo. Because, uh, for those of you who don't know... Zodiac Broadbull allows you to detach one material and search for a card, and Zodiac Dryden allows you to destroy a card on the field. Basically, they go together. Yes, and since their one card exceeds by just overlaying them on top of a Zodiac monster, they were busted, and Zoo needed to be hit. Zoo's been running rampant for too long now. Would you say these two are sort of like paradox in a way? Yes. One cannot live without the other. Like, this actually kind of makes me sad, because thanks to the Megatons, I built a Zodiac deck, because it was relatively cheap. Mm-hmm. Because I already had an Emerald and all the fun stuff. So it made me kind of sad that they hit this, but I am try might try to rework the deck, honestly. But yeah, anybody got anything, any final words for Broad Bull and Dryden? Never heard of them, never used them, so I got Zip. Ricky? Ricky? Dude? Hello? Um. <laughs> ah, and I got super as well. Hmm. Okay. Well, while we wait for Ricky, I'm just going to state that that is the end of the uh, Forbidden cards. As a uh, little, uh, just because I'm me, a little uh, honorable mention, they never brought back Stratos again. Yeah. It, the thing is, to be honest, I, I pretty much I pretty much gone to the point where I just don't care. There you were. Where'd you vanish off to? I had a family member needed to talk to me. Gotcha. All That's right, cool. but yeah. So nothing about Broad Bull and Dryden. Not really. They were. All I could say is they were taken out to pasture and they were both shot. Yep. All right. Our net they, now. All in other words, they were rapid and they had to be put down. Yep. 
Alright, so now, we are moving on to the limited cards. One being, uh... Freaking... That guy. Uh, Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. I know for a fact that that's one of their main monsters, right? I believe so. Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. Let's see. He does... Hear the following effect. To tribute summon this card, you can tribute a continuous trap instead of a monster, blah, 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 blah. You're, when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control this one, you can take one true king continuous spell. spell. Yes, yes. Uh, so basically, Ignis gets you the spell, the other guy gets you the trap. Ah, uh, They're searching. I see. So, that's all really we could say. Anybody else? Nope. Mm -mm. All right, next we've got Miscellaneousaurus, the hand trap of dinos. So basically they hit dinos hard. Yeah, I hey. never used this, but Eric did, so he said he had to do some, he has some things to work around, so I'm going to take a guess that uh, the, the that True King, the disaster, he probably had to use that, but I'm not completely sure. So, anything about Miscellania? Uh, if it all, was, all, all I gotta say is if they were gonna hit, if they, if they thought it was going to be a threat, then there's no, and then that's the only reason why they would hit it in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. Final card for Zoo, which is Zodiac Rapier. He went down from one, two to one, but... I mean, they're killing Zoo, but Zoo is still playable. Mm -hmm. e exactly. People will still play Zodiac just because, well, that's how we duelist are. Exactly. Yep. Next card is Dark Hole to 1, which I'm very shocked that they did that. Well, here's a thing. For 10 plus years, we've had Dark Hole at 1. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Yeah. I so going from one to two that kind of surprised me and then it did but they're doing this to promote links as well as when they limited a nether card which we'll begin here soon but yeah they did that just to promote links because board wipes will stop you from link summoning mm -hmm. yeah and I could see why they want they're, they're trying to promote link summoning as best as they could as they can yep all right, next card. Yeah, and as Brian checked me, since we got Link monsters, are we going to be getting Zelda and Ganon monsters as well? Uh, <laughs> All right, next card. Gateway of the Six. Welcome back. Oh, oh my gosh! All I gotta say is six. It's it, it, there's ne there's never been a better time to be the, the, to be a six samurai player than now. They got yeah, their six. They got their signature card back after it was taken away from them several years ago. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, think about it. All three of us, we were here when Gateway got banned. Mm-hmm. And the day it got banned, oh, I remember that day so well. Yeah. I was not a happy camper. That makes two of us, dude. As much as I have to say it, though, they're not going to do much. Not really, but they're going to be a fun deck at least. True, very true. They'll be back to their glory as a fun deck. That's it. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. anybody else on Gateway? Nope. Nope. That's Gateway in a nutshell for you. All right. Yep. Next card, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. As I was stating before, this is the other bar board wipe card. But the one thing about this particular board wipe, it does give you a monster, but the fact is, kaijus are f dumb. Exactly. Like, that's it. Kaijus are dumb. Kaijus get over everything, and the fact that I had a board wipe that gave the monster them, and like, for example, with me, I used to combo, uh, before, I, before Link summoning, I would combo, uh, from Yugi Nono's perspective, check him in the link. Uh, I would combo this with Jusukiru to go into Chimera Attack and then just keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since I still have my Kaiju on my field. Yep. So yeah, Interrupted Kaiju, Board Wipes, Stupidity. 
All right, and last but limited is True King's Return. Basically, the th the next nail in the coffin for True Kings. Wait, that's that's pretty much saying that's pretty much saying something there. Now, right, now on to the semi limited. I do have to make a remark about the band and limited real quick. Okay. Most okay. people were expecting a masterpiece or diagram to get hit, but they did not. Hey. Nope. But yeah. All right, Brian, you want to lead off? Start with our uh, semi. Yeah, you got it. All right, first up is BLS, and I was mentioning this to you guys before we started recording. I can picture this on the field. Someone having two BLS on the field, one using the double attack ability, and one using the banishment ability. I can picture that as well. No one's going to... Personally, though, I, can not, I don't see people running more than one still. I mean, it's a good card, you never but, know. I mean, yeah, I can see people running to, but, I mean, that would require, I mean, that would still require you to draw both and to have the monster mm -hmm. set up or your opponent to not stop summoning it. True. I mean, sure, you have a backup in case someone solemn warnings your, uh, luster, or your black luster, but, eh. Anybody else? Nope. No. Alrighty, next we've got a card that I'm happy is now at two. Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Yeah, that, it helps pendulums, but the thing is, due to the new rules and regulations that link them around, yeah. pendulums are nowhere near as good as they used to be. They're still True. playable, right. highly playable. They're, they're still highly playable, but still, I mean, they had yeah. a, they, they their speed and consistency were majorly halted. Yep. So, anything else on Luster? Nope. Alright, next card, Mathematician. To two. I mean, I'm happy to see him at two. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, here's the thing. Out of every card, I mean, he's not an OP card. I mean, no. yes. I mean, sure, you could foolish bury all monster, but here's the thing. Foolish Burial's at one, this thing's at two. I mean, exactly. you're not, I mean, now, if, say, for example, if they put Foolish Burial to free, then you would not see Mathematician. Mathematician, oh, would, have to, mathematician would have to be banned. Mm -hmm. yep. and, but yeah, he's just a good card. He's just a good card. All right, next. And if I remember correctly, if, if he's destroyed in battle, you get to draw a card. Yep. Correct. All right. Next card is a card I can't really see me see you getting much play, which is Bryo. Bryo's not going to get play. Uh, uh, but here's the thing, though. Him and Light Swords are going to have a lot of fun. Well, still, most people are only going to run one copy. True. And I, I, I cannot picture somebody running two. I nope. just can't. Nope. Yeah, me either. Anything else on Bryo? Nope. Not really. No. I forget. What level is Bryo? Is Six. it a nine? Level six. Oh, six. The level nine is Trish. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. So, the next card is TG Hyper Librarian. I mean, it's a great time for it, it to be back because Synchros are still yeah. viable. Mm -hmm. Synchros are... They, here's, a, here's the thing. They could put the thing at free. I don't think it's hardly going to do anything. Not the least. I say put Hyper Librarian to free. Let TGs have their monster back. Yeah. And let Synchrons I mean, have a field day. Exactly. I mean, because the thing is, yes, you have to use Link monsters and Synchrons, but the thing is, Synchrons can still pull off a lot of amazing plays with Link monsters. Yeah, true. Very true. So, that's all we got about TG, right? Yeah. Yep. Next card, Brain Control. That's back because of the errata. Yeah, so we can just skip that, basically. Yeah, because the only... Thing is only really complaint, it's still brain control, that's all it is. It's brain control. That's all it is. Yeah. So, next card, Burial from a Different Dimension. Um, it's okay. I mean, 
it, it's a good it's a good tech card against banishment decks. I say that's pretty much all it is to be honest. They're, yeah. they're, they're, it's just a very good finger. I say put the thing to free. It ain't gonna do. It ain't gonna do squat. It's still nice. But yeah. All right. Next card, El Shadal Fusion. Fusion? Ha! You mean? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, come on! I had to. I had to. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I say it was a uh, fine. I guess. It's an interesting return because without Construct, Shadal's ain't still gonna. I mean, Construct is a thing. Shadal's can still do stuff. But they're not gonna do as much without their without their pretty lady. Exactly. I mean, you're 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 still you're still going to have to focus the deck on Winda until Construct is at least put to one. Con. Yeah. So yeah, that's all really about El Shadal Fusion. Without Construct, we ain't got nothing. Yep. Uh -huh. right. Stop separation of rights. I say Vendrids. Like, yeah, Necros can they, still do stuff, but Vendreds are going to be the new ritual. Yeah, Van, yeah. if you don't know what Vendreds are, Brian, they are the new ritual monster archetype. In fact, get this, they are the very first zombie ritual archetype. Okay, then. Trust me, it's it's about time zombies got a ritual archetype of their own. It's been, it's been, it's been years in the making. Hmm. And also, they go great with Zombie World. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So yeah, basically pre-prep, Necroz, Vendreds, fun time. Yeah. yeah so. That... Oh, yeah. Next card, Debris Dragon, moving on to the Unlimited section. Yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, anything to say about the Bree Dragon. It's off the limited li It's off the forbidden list completely. It's one of Yusei Fudo's best monsters. But in the actual yep. game, it's not nearly as good. No. I mean, it, it used to be good back in the plant engine days years ago, but those days are long gone. Yeah, and I, I mean, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think isn't the Bree Dragon's ability that it can only be used to synchro summon dragon type synchros or something like that yep uh yes it is so that all about debris yep yeah. next up honest to three. Oh, oh my god i Death. can't believe that they actually did it i that's, never thought i'd see the day that's no, not I mean, actually something we were expecting at all no i mean it has been if i'm correct it's been almost 10 years since Honest was at 3. Give or take. Give or take. It's almost in that time frame. I mean, it is going... This is going to be interesting. I mean, sure, it may not be a free for long. I mean, we ha I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, but we have... Let's while we can. Yes, because we have another ban list in November. Uh, but anyway, Honest to 3, it's going to be interesting because... Not only can Light Sworns take advantage of Honest again if they want to, um, but here's the thing. One of the reasons why I think they brought Honest back to free as well is they're preparing to release the new Fairy Structure deck. True. But, Cause, yeah, but the thing is, the OCG is getting that Structure deck first before we do. But still, Honest is not going to do anything, really. No, I mean, even at free, you're not going to see people hardly run Honest, except in, like, attribute decks. That's about all. I mean, all. maybe you'll see yeah. it at maybe two copies, because that's always a magic number for Honest. Yeah, but you're not going to see some, of them, uh, some decks run free. Um, but I will say one thing. Um, honest going to free, I will say this, it will warrant people to start using Light Imprisoning Mirror again as a side deck card. Yep. So, as well as Mind Drain, but I think Mind Drain's a side deck card anyway because of the plentiful hand traps we have these days. Exactly. Like Ghost Ogre, Winter Cherries, Ash Blossom. Mm-hmm. But, but the thing is, those have nothing on the original one of the true original hand traps being honest. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, next cards. I'm going to talk about these two together because they're kind of in the same boat, which is Rescue Rabbit and Rescue Cat. 
Rescue Cat, it, it, it's off the ban list because of its errata. That's all you need to say. They tested it for a but format, Re nothing happened, blah, 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 blah. But as for Rabbit, though... Oh, 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 Dino oh, Bunny, oh, back. Bunny is back. Back again. <laughs> We're getting Dino Bunnies back, and since normal Dino... Since True King Dinos got whacked, yeah, and the thing is, um, for people that still have their copies of Rescue Rabbit, I mean, Dino Rabbit is going to be a very good, viable option. Plus, uh, Rescue Cause, Rabbit... I mean, because you'll be using the staple Free Rabbit, Free Sabersaurus, Free Cabozoles. And Rabbit did get a reprint in the Dino Structure deck, so... It did, so if anybody can find that Structure deck, if, if it's still around... There's your rescue rabbits. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, rabbits back, cats. Eh. Yep. So anyway, next is monk. Uh, summoner monk. I'm happy to see back in free. One thing that summoner monk is going to help with a lot is crystal beasts. That card is essential in crystal beasts. That's going to give crystal beasts a bit more oomph to it. But. Other than that, I mean, I had plans for a deck with Summoner Monk, but Summoner Monk itself will not see as much play still. Not really. So, next, Witch of the Black Forest, Arata, Arata, and Hallelujah the Arata. Yeah, I mean, it's still good. It's just you gotta wait one turn to activate your card that you get with her. Exactly. I mean, so. Sangan. Yes. I'm okay with that. But all I gotta say is, with Sangan and Witchback, welcome back, Exodia deck. So, Exodia players, rejoice. I was thinking Sandwich, personally. <laughs> that, that's the name of a fusion card, dude. That's what I'm I saying. Know. Welcome back, Sandwich. I know. I know. Sandwich is playable again. <clears throat> but the next card, though. Oh! oh. Charge of the Light Brigade at three. What? Light Swarms. Full power. Choice. It's been here's the thing. It's been, I think, five to eight years in the making. We've wanted this card back at free for so freaking long. We waited for years for it, and now it's finally happened. With lights, with with charge light brigade, with charge light brigade being at free, and honest being at free. For the first time in almost 10 years, Light Swords are now at 100% full power. Full power. They, have, they have everything back they've lost. And judgment will be dealt! Exactly! Plus, since we now have the Twilight Swarm support... Yeah, the Twilight Swarms, I'm going to be very interested to see how the new Light Swarm support actually fares with Charge Light Brigade and Honest being at free. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah. As, as well as that new Punishment Dragon. Alrighty, so Charge, <laughs> everything good. Next, Dragon's Ravine. Oh my freaking lord, you have no idea how long this has also been long awaited. I mean, Dragoonity players are very happy right now. We knew we were going to get the card back eventually at full power. We just didn't know when, but now that we do, oh my gosh. All I gotta say is, and Brian is gonna say the same thing, thank you. Not just that, but yes, thank you! <laughs> but the way I still see it, Dragon, as a competitive standpoint, Dragon's Ravine is not gonna do much. Not really. The only thing it'll do is support both Blue Eyes and Dragoonities. It'll bring it, rogue players back to the game. Yes. But also, though, since it's going to help Blue Eyes out a lot, um, since you're able to just, uh, to just ditch a card, it'll help, allow you to just ditch your Whitestone of Legends or Whitestone of the Ancients. And get a free stuff. Blue Eyes. Exactly. Next, Which, the last card. The final card to complete the ban list and one that has been banned for a long time and it's not very often you see Konami just take a card completely banned and bring it to free. It's extreme that they do this. Uh, and that card is Wavering Eyes. Wavering Eyes, I love Wavering Eyes because myself, I'm still working on it, but I'm a Pendulum player. I play 
Uh, before Link Format, I played uh, Pendulum Magician, Pendulum Zark Magician, and mm -hmm. I love the deck. I love the deck. And with Wavering Eyes, as a combo example, say you have a Pendulum card you don't need, you can pop it and get what you need, or if you have the traditional setup for a Pendulum Magician deck having auto, or a uh, Double Iris and Purple Poison in the scales, and you have Star Pendulum Graph on board, you can pop them the two monsters, then get the search from uh, Double Iris to get your top Pendulum Graph, and then you can use the effect of, of uh, Purple Poison to pop a card, and then get Star Pendulum Graph's effect to search a card. Exactly. Basically, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be not. I mean, the thing is, yes, I mean, with these new rules, Zark is still good, but with the new rules, he's going to have a bit of a slowdown. He's still playable, highly playable. He's still, play, he's still playable, but not like it used to be. Nope. So, anyway, that is the ban list. Any final thoughts, everyone? Not. All I can say is. One, welcome back, Gateway the Six. I mean, like me and Brian said earlier, this has been years in the making. Six of my players have begged and begged and begged, and they were still begging for Six Samurais to get their uh, signature card back, and now they have it. Right, yep. Brian? Uh-huh. And, and the thing is... Now that six Sams have their signature card back, we'll just wait. To, just wait till they get that new support. I guarantee you, there will be some new OTKs with this stuff. Yeah, that would surprise me in the least. And as for um, Drag Dragoonities, well, the thing about Dragoonities is their future as an archetype with Dra Dragon Ravine right now. Basically, it's not. It's un, it's unsure at this point. Depending on if and only if Dragoonities get new support in that Link Brains pack that's coming out very soon. Because we don't know if they're going to be getting a new Link. We don't even know if they're going to get a Link monster or not. And as for Light Sworn, oh my lord, oh. Judge. Judgment Dragon OTK is back. Yeah, buddy. Especially now that we have Minerva. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, that was our ban list video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for coming out, including you, Maxi. Hey, no problem. Glad I could help. And, um, until the next band list rant, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Hudson Man 2. My name is MLB11XNC22. I am Uncle Brian81. And we will see you guys next band list. See ya. Say bye, guys. Later.